Today we are going to talk about five types of people you will not associate with. That is to say five types of people you must avoid if you want to go far in the journey of life. If truly that you want to grab your destiny, these five type of people, you must avoid them. Do me a favor to touch the subscribe button or click the follow button, depending on the platform you are watching me right now, so that you'll be receiving all my updates. And also share this message to as many as you can. Let's join hands together to save life. Don't forget to drop your comment, like the video, and pay attention for this set of people you must avoid. Number one, any man, any person, any woman that is not telling you truth, you must avoid him. That is to say, somebody that have that never find any error in your life. Somebody that, that have not corrected you one day and say, you made mistake. You did not get this well. well. You are at fault here. You, you made mistake here. Check this, check this. Anybody that is always in support of what you are doing, is your enemy. If you find any man or woman who is always in support of the way you live your life, the way you are doing things, and never one day correct you in one way or the other, that person is your enemy. You may, you may, be, you may like that individual to be hanging around you, but in the area of destiny, is your number one enemy. You must avoid that person. Because in life, you need somebody that will tell you truth. You need somebody that will correct you when you are going astray. You need somebody that will bring you back when you are missing it, when you miss the track. You need somebody that will have to correct you and say, Sir, Madam, Brother, Sister, you are making mistake so that you can retrace your step very early before it's too late. Number two, anybody that is competing with you when you discover there is somebody that is always competing with you, avoid that person. He's your enemy. He can destroy your destiny. He can destroy your destiny. He can kill you yourself. He can kill you. Because when you see a man that is competing with, with you, a man that is competing with you, is a is an envious person. He's a man of envy. Envy has filled his life. Jealousy has taken over him. That is why he's competing with you. Because he don't want you to be better than him. He don't want you to achieve something greater than him. That is why always you are in competition. You are competing. You discover that your friend, that anything, anytime you tell him something he, 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 you want to achieve, anytime you, you, you stay with that, your friend or that person, he normally competes with you. His word, his character, his statement, his body his body language is telling you that this one is competing with you. You must avoid that person. You don't need a competitor. You don't need a competitor in the area of destiny. You need an advisor. You need a man that loves you. You need a man that loves you and loves your progress. So when you come encounter a man that's competing with you, this is the time bomb waiting for explosion. Avoid that individual. If you want to get to your destination, number three, number set three people you should avoid is someone that never appreciate the good things God has done for you or good things you have achieved in life. You discover that anytime something good happened to you, this person never comment on it. He never share. He is not cheerful. He is not happy. He is not happy. There is no joy that good things happen to you. That is to say, the person is saying, why must he be you? Why must, why won't I? Why must he be you? Why not I? Why must he be you? That is exactly what the person is saying. That is to say, if he is the one or she is the one that that good thing happened to, it would have been better than as it happened to you. That is why he cannot join hands together to celebrate with you. That is why he cannot celebrate with you. That is why he cannot be happy because good things happen to you. You discover you bought new car and he, and he is angry. He never dance. He never joy. He never rejoice with you. He never praise God on your behalf. 
Remember, sometimes people will be saying praise God oh, and celebrating with you, but you, you look at their body mo motion, you look at their body language, look at their character, look at their face, because they can never avoid that three area. Even when they are angry in their heart, they, they want to deceive you that they are happy with you. But when you look at their body, their, their body language, look at their face, look at their speech, look at their character in that event, you discover that they are angry for what has happened in your life. So you must avoid this number third person that is not happy that good thing happens to you. Avoid that person. Number four, Number four person you must avoid is someone that always wants you to spend your money. Somebody that is always triggering you to spend your money. I'm not talking about in investing your money. I'm talking about spending your money. Someone that will come and call you. Let us go for club. Let's go for clubbing. Let's go for nightclub. Let us go here. Let us visit that particular place. Something is happening there. Let's go and enjoy life. That person that you see that 24 hours, he is, he is, he is ready for you to spend the little you have is a man that have no vision so you don't need a man that have no vision of himself a man that have no vision have nothing to offer to you that have vision because bible said that evil communication corrupts a good manner so a visionary a visionary must move with a visionary a man that have purpose a man that have vision a man that want to achieve good will not be working and associating with a visionless people someone that have no vision that is after drinking, after smoking, after clubbing, after uh, 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 living, flirting and living a, a, a worthless life. So you must avoid that person. I don't care to know who that person is. That is always calling you for party. That is always inviting you for beer parlor. Always calling you for where you will go and enjoy your life and joy and dance with ladies or dance with brothers, with boys or with men or dance with ladies, dance with women. You must avoid this number four set of people. They don't have vision and you that have vision must avoid them in order to reach to your destination. And the number five person you must avoid in life. Mark me very well. This number five person now I want to tell you is very very important number five person you must avoid secretly in your heart you will avoid them is someone that is so close to you i will explain to you do you know that your enemy the only access your enemy have is your closest friend in the wicked ones the only access the person the enemy have in your life is your most closest friend that is to say somebody that have the key of your room, somebody you trust, somebody that can that, that, that know uh, uh, that knows some of your business or know many things about your business, about your family, someone that have access to your family, they call it family friends. You must come to a stage, you will learn how to avoid these people in your life and in your heart. Not to push them away, but you will avoid them. Not everything you will tell them. Not everything. There are some secrets you have to keep away from them. There is one of my videos. I talk about learn how to keep secrets. So if you have not watched that video, I advise you to find that video on YouTube and also on Facebook. Watch it. Learn how to keep secrets. Because this kind of person is a time bomb. Remember that someone that is, that, that is your friend today may become your enemies tomorrow. And you must live a life, you must, you must live in such a way that even when you disassociate with in that individual today, or when there is, a mis there is a conflict or a misunderstanding between two of you, he will not have something that he will use to, to, to wicked you in future. So you must avoid this set of people. Remember that your destiny is precious. Your destiny is precious. I pray for you today. In the name of Jesus, Son of the Living God, any area you may mistake in your life, the Lord shall help you. The Lord will deliver you from all your mistakes. In the name of Jesus. And I pray that whatsoever information that your enemies are using to work against you, today, may their wisdom turn to 
foolishness in the name of Jesus. May the uh, enemy, enemy of your life and your destiny, may them fail completely in your life in the name of Jesus. Share this message to many people as you can. And don't forget to like this message. Forward it to many people. Drop your comment and see you next of my broadcast. And bye for now.